adding inventory. Uh, to add to your inventory, just click the inventory button. Uh, there's three ways to classify your inventory. Uh, the first would be basically like single items that are expensive. You want to track just the one, so you just want to create a single inventory record for that item. Uh, then you have your bulk items where you don't, you're not too concerned about each individual item. You just want to track quantity uh, such as cables where you might have 10 or 15 or 20. You just want to more know that you have enough in stock. And the other way to classify your inventory is with groups where you've got uh, similar items there which are all identical except for uh, serial number and barcode and you just want to you don't want to see each individual item but you want to be able to track each indiv individual item should something happen to it some, something get missing uh, like these uh, speakers so to add an item to your inventory just click add uh, here we have the fields there's code there's a category model manufacturer uh, you can generate a barcode and the system will, will pull up the next barcode, the serial number. You can turn some dimensions, the weight in pounds. The system will uh, track the weight for all the items for rental if, you, if you're concerned about your uh, shipping weight. Um, here you can specify the purchase date, the purchase cost, current value if you're going to sell it. You can also have expendable items. So if you have like uh, duct tape or some item that you would go with the rental but uh, it would not come back, you can mark that as expendable. Down here you would have your rates for your different rate categories. I mentioned in another video that you can change the name for these rate, rate categories. The system can handle up to d seven different uh, rate categories. Uh, on the right here is your inventory records. If, um, if an item is lost or damaged or stolen, you can, you can add, you could, it would show here that it's been removed or added to the inventory. Also rentals will pop up here as will uh, sub rentals. Uh, over here we have the, there's a history tab, so you can track the history for each item. There's the rental history. Uh, if an item is lost or damaged, you can create a record for that in the rental, and it'll, it'll, it'll show here. Um, maintenance and repairs. If, uh, an, if an item, you want to track repairs to an item, you can just click there and uh, enter that in, say it was fixed or whatever, and, and specify uh, who repaired it, the cost. You can also schedule upcoming repairs here by just entering a, uh, a future date. Description is just a, a, a string field for uh, if you want to just have more detailed description. You can also attach files to an inventory record. So if you have pictures of damage or whatnot, you can uh, just add a added added um, any file to this and it'll be stored in the database. Pop-up reminders are very useful if if this item needs a certain accessory or a uh, certain um, something needs to be done if this if it's added to a rental, then this will pop up when that item is booked. Accessories uh, is very useful if uh, this item requires uh, cables or patch cords or, or whatnot. You can add those items from your inventory and um, they will be booked automatically when you book this item. It's also uh, recursive, so you can have, uh, you know, it's a good way of doing very complex kits and very complex gear assemblies. You basically just book the main item and each of the items from each kit will be uh, booked as well. Uh, on the main equipment list, uh, like as I said here, here's the uh, this is basically your list of items. This graph shows the quantity over time. Uh, these you can click on the drop-down arrows to see your list of accessories that go along with that item, as well as if it's a if it's a group item such as these speakers, then you can click here and it shows you the uh, each individual item in that group. Uh, when you're working with an, a group of items, you just like the item. Uh, click. You click Add Group to add a new group, and here you can specify the uh, the fields for all for that item. And over here, you would specify each individual serial number and barcode. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like here. So here we have the speakers, the code, category, model, manufacturer. All that information is the same as are all the the rates are also all the same. And over here, we can uh, we can track each individual item just to see what's uh, going on with it. So. And uh, over here, this is a, just a filter. So if you're looking for a certain item, you can, you know, for a certain manufacturer, you just click on that, and then it'll filter, you know, the results by all that by that uh, manufacturer. 